Revival number six, we're back in Manchester at the Zombie Shack. Make a bit of noise. Yeah. For anyone asking, this is one of the training days event. We brought training days to the north. Bobby Rex is staff, so if you do want to get involved in the league, please send your application to entry at don'tflop.com. With that being said, on the right hand side, you've seen him before in Don't Flop. <coughs> one of the best uppercomers that I've seen over the last few years, so make a bit of noise for Jay Dillon. Yeah. Yo. And to my left, legendary fucking Mancunian <laughs> MC from the bits. Make some noise for Bobby Rex. Yeah. It's a three round battle. We haven't done the flips. So who wants to go first? I'm going to go first. Dude. Round one on Bobby Rex. Let's go. So, we're finally here. UK Battle Rap's biggest night of the year. Let's all give a round of applause for Bridget. Yeah! Now I ain't trying to hear that the price is a day. Get to the fucking bar and buy him a beer. Because this is Revival 6. And big events that are the size of this. Yo, hold it down. If they can buy it, so I can hear. And a type that can define a career. And they gave me Jay Dillon. They will find a bit weird. See, I didn't take this battle because I think this guy's ill. I took this battle because Briggs said they'd have the match on and I haven't paid my Sky bill. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed it. And now I don't know whether Rashford scored another hat trick or whether City Fresh does 5 0. I'm going to have to catch up on match of the day. And for that, Briggs there, my next match up better be someone like Quill. You better, you better get me a push at the title. I want to be the next man that's hitting Blizzard's 5 or Shotty Horror's 9 mil. Chances mm. are, that's more than likely going to be wrapped on. I ain't really got that guy's skill, but I'm going to give it a try still. Because I feel like one day you're all going to realise that I am the fucking revival. Mm. Big Bobby Rex up in the yeah. zombie chat. Yeah. And, I'm a, yeah. and I'm a problem that you don't want. I've already beat a better scouter than you in here just saying stupid shit like, just because you're the scouters, best believe I think you're both cunts. <laughs> Along with Steven Gerrard, Danny Murphy and Mark Lawrence, you know that scheme I did against innuendo where basically the gist of it is that I hate every single one of them yeah. And we might be wearing a fucking Barcelona top But <laughs> This guy supports Bolton Wanderers <laughs> So I ain't recycling from my last battle. I'm just saying he probably hates every single one as much <laughs> I mean, What kind of scouts has never stole a thing? Not a penny sweet from Penny Lane. Never smoked a spliff round the back of Smith Down. I never skinned up in a phone box when it rained. And I know you've got a job. What kind of scouser has got one leg? <laughs> That's why I don't believe you are one, Jay. I guess that you're from Crosby then. Because you've never owned a Lacoste tracksuit. You've never put two of your mates to get ten sovereign. So he's not from Liverpool. I don't know why that bothers him. I'm buzzing I'm not scout, to the point I thank the Lord and sing his praises. Saying that you're from the mean streets of Crosby is not about to intimidate us. <laughs> See, I could believe his scouts, but you ain't ever even swapped to Cardo. Never sold a stolen sat nav or car stereo on Park Road. Never bought a glass bottle of iron brew from Lockhart's or from Giorgio's. See, I'm from Manchester, Jay Dillon, and I bet that even I'm more known on your roads. See, I was there in the dark days, just off Abrick's Road on Lark Lane. I was a young truck driver delivering drinks, and it was a fucking struggle to park straight. <laughs> <laughs> But someone says that they're from Liverpool, we just accept it without asking. But if you're really from Liverpool, tell everybody. How come you haven't even got a scout action? Get a thought, mate. Hey, Bob's money, all dull. Bob's mum, Paul Scholes. Hey, awkward flows, but Bobby's a battler. Bobby's a killer. Bob's unemployed, but Bob is a builder. <laughs> all day, working, scheming like chiller, working away, but insulation, it's all filler. Killer tune, so the mixtape sounding amazing. He named it Laying Foundations. <laughs> <laughs> Patience, all day laying them breeze blocks, all night on Facebook chatting breeze block. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was.
was an old school fan of jammer and grime, but when he's at work, it's hammer time. <laughs> ba battle wise, though, I have to say this when it comes to his battles, I may skip. Because his battles are shit, and ba blatantly they came to see your grave get dug when JCB. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's tiresome to judge here. Best newcomer, it's not been a good year. <laughs> the pub's where you find him hiding in Weatherspoons Or Bobby by Brown and ask where's the spoons? <laughs> but he's telling you about his new life Sober for two nights Flow hot like Dubai Shoplift a lot but sometimes I do buy <laughs> hey, You'll soon lose your shine You'll see Rex You're on a PG tip Bring me a T-Rex You see Rex I'm nice Rex I don't need to try Rex I don't need them Direx to make you direct. I see you through your eye, Rex. You're not part of the equation. You're not pie, Rex. <laughs> I guess no new request. Just do you have a doobie? Yes. He doesn't care who's impressed. He's a weed hungry Budapest. <laughs> I introduce Rex to the best lemon haze that smell like Satsumas. Too strong for Bob. He should have sat sooner. <laughs> he was at work and got fired. That's super. Because he's got a backup plan. That's Uber. <laughs> Bobby's a loser. Bobby spent too long on his computer, chatting, not rapping, not making his music. He's not a young thug or the future. Bobby gets boozy and loses his bearings. He lost his jewellery, he loses his bearings. Some people... <laughs> Some people find him slightly overbearing. Most people just can't bear him. He's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody laughed. He told me that he's hard to beat, which had me worried for a minute, thinking, well, what if he just can't be beat? I mean, what if I get there and get scared and can hardly speak, or I forget my bars because I went out on a bender the night before and turned up to the event still fucking half asleep? Or what if he pulls the rug from underneath me and exposes to people my hard demeanour and the reason that I shout and bark at people is nothing more than a cover-up for the fact that I'm a harmless geek? Or what? If instead of just turning up with random jokes for once, he actually turns up with some bars and schemes and writes a full three rounds instead of a thousand sloppily thrown together different parts and pieces. Which brings me to his party piece. He just rhymes the same thing with every party pieces. For example, I love your girlfriend and I think that she smells exceptional. <laughs> and that's in any perfume in the world. Exceptional. <laughs> I bet that everything you eat gets cooked in your mum's oven. <laughs> he said the reason that his accent's not scouse is because his mum's southern. <laughs> and I won't be surprised if after I take this win, he still says that it's debatable and it was close in his eyes. But please, nobody listen to him. The guy can't even open his mouth without closing his eyes. <laughs> so listen up, Jay Charles. <laughs> I, ain't here, I ain't here to mess around. How have you got 20-20 vision but would still struggle to get around without the use of smell and sound? <laughs> and with that blind man swag, I'll bet he's never shagged a fit bird. And if he has, I'll make another bet. I'll bet he had to get a pissed first. <laughs> How did you even know that she was fit, Jay? Well, obviously, I felt a wrist first. <laughs> Um, obviously I felt a wrist first. What's that next line? Oh, choking. This hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the blind man swag, I bet he never a bit weird. I think that he's a bit weird. And I have got a big beard. Um, I've forgotten the line and I'm sure that I had a really good end or only problem is right now. I can't fucking remember. <laughs> so, round two. On Jay Dillon, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, oh, I just remembered it. It was something like, so what if I actually came here for a fight because I wanted to fuck him up? I'd just throw a punt in the middle of his round. This dad punt, he'd have his eyes closed and he probably wouldn't duck. <laughs> Time. Hey. I tried to watch his battles out of courtesy. But none of them I cared to see. Who's, who's here to see Rex? Nobody. Because he's a nobody. He won one battle, but nobody. Do we want you to rap? No, Bobby. Hey, he watches Corey and knock back bodies. That's so Bobby. Sidekick at a party, old Blobby. Bobby Rex, the poor man's Bobby Rex. Everything good in his life, poor Bobby Rex. If it bounces, it's a Bobby check. 
Because he probably gets Play-Doh from them flows that he's written. Just small figures, that's robot chicken. Yeah. Slim pickings, the family and friends have to fund Bob. You're not a star, you're a sponge, Bob. I'm some god with the pen and the ink, so I can do gigs, but you'll be stuck on the net like a squid would. The sting in the tail is tough. Three B's in your name, but not a big buzz. You never linked up with Shotty or got a collab, but Shotty's last video, Bob was in the back. <laughs> hey, but not one of your tracks gets played in the town or city. He's surrounded by cans and it sounds tinny. <laughs> Sorry. It's silly, people rap about his kids, that's not my bag. I just talk about Bobby, the hip hop dad. <laughs> Homework time, you can't wait for that. Let's make it rhyme, let's make it rap. Not every time, Bobby, that'd be whack. Hey. <laughs> Hey, but his life is sad and it's weird. No time for battles or beers. He bought himself the mug that said Dad of the Year. He travelled here. He travelled here in a car with the sticker saying "Baby on board," spitting bars to the baby, but the baby is bored. He's not annoyed. He missed being a bad boy, but he looks happy. He thinks he's big, but he's just a puff daddy. Time. Now in this round, for thinking you can beat me, this war is fully on. And I've brought nothing but gold in these bars. I'm about to get my bully on. <laughs> See, you are not killing Bob Dylan. I am going for the win. I'm here to burn your body down to ashes and leave it blowing in the wind. Enjoy. The man in me says I've got to serve somebody. And your life is for the taking. A sacrifice to let the people know the times they are a change. Yeah. Yeah. And you knew this death was coming. It was by prior arrangement. Committed suicide knowing full well that it could be viewed on YouTube by the entire nation. <laughs> Mate, you're not even a stepping stone. I'm ahead of you already. This battle's just a formality to make sure that that gets set in stone. I'm lesser known, but got better flows. I can wrap it darker than when the lecky goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or I can wrap it hotter than Aunt Bessie's stove. Or I can wrap it colder than, well, getting froze. <laughs> See, there's differences between us, Jay. I'm setting goals. You're the kid in class that they was picking last and had to get in goals. Yeah. The differences between us, Jay, I'm getting chose. You're, I'm getting hired, you're getting fired. I'll be getting dull and you'll be getting dull. I'm moving forward, you're heading home. I'm getting asked, you're getting told. So there is, so there is definitely no way that you can phase me. You must be cuckoo crazy. You're not even a little threat. That's a ukulele. <laughs> and he's in a full band. <laughs> Fact. That's a ukulele, and also after today meeting me will not be something you'll be eager to repeat. As soon as though it's Manchester Derby Day, I'll be Paul Scholes. You can be the ball. That's easy to defeat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 right, so I've got a lot of shit going on at home, you know, so this battle might not be your favourite. I'm pretty much backing that people are going to go online and actually say I'm shit, but I'll be back at the eighth birthday and I promise you that Dan Trader's gonna pay for it. Oh. Now, they say, that, they say that, my, uh, that my rounds are ending dry, which got me upset and I don't want to shed any more tears. So to make sure that doesn't happen in this round, on the count of three, if you could just all cheer. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. Hey, you said I played in goal, but I play centre back. Your girl sent me pics, but I sent centre them back. back. <laughs> hey, and whatever Bob say, it'll be a long day. Cause he's going one way downhill and I've never seen Bob slay. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta say I'm cool running things okay, so me lose no way. <laughs> okay, you need ghostwriters, you need two O'Shea's. You need Donald Trump money and two toupees. Your girl likes flowers, I buy a bouquet. She wants to get high, I give you a bouquet. <laughs> the dude claims press one didn't beat him. And he claims he's a red, but I bet he's never seen them. Yeah. Name a player, Ryan Giggs. Favourite player, Ryan Giggs. Who's the boss, <laughs> Brian Kidd? No, this guy's been nicked for some misdemeanors. When I spit, he misdemeaning. <laughs> he can't believe his missus is leaving, thinks she'll miss him spitting and scheming, no. It's Rex and he's depressed, but it's not his fault, he ends with an X. And yes, she's heavy set, and I gotta say, I don't wanna know what that Mancunian way. She'll lead you astray, dogging, in a waterproof. She said she's clean, but the waterproof. 
when she talks to you, she's lying. She's not a keeper. A leopard doesn't change her spots, and she's a cheater. <laughs> she's cheating when Bobby travels, bobbing her head like she bobbed for apples. Bobby builds scaffolds, and his banter's as funny as cancer. And that girl's tan's the same shade as Fanta. <laughs> she handles sacks, she's known as Santa. She does the Poznan, she's a pole dancer. <laughs> What's the answer for a Viking battle rapper? Hitman Valhalla. After a long day of blazing a draw, he's on a longboat praying to Thor. <laughs> and listen, mate, you look like an extra from Prison Break. <laughs> the one they set free to give the prisoner break. 